go. Find it again. If this doesn't work. Don't fart. Hey, Hello. 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 Hello, darling. Oh, I'm God. yelling at my daughter to say, don't bark at the garbage truck. Oh, don't bark at the garbage truck. I already They're saw. picking up our trash, honey. Trash. We don't want trash. No. Hi. Hello. You look. Oh, my. Can you see me? I don't even know. Am I like. Wait. Yes, yes, yes. You look fantastic. Is this better? Oh, shoot. I'm not really that good at all this stuff. Oh, me oh, neither. Lord. Me neither. Okay. But we'll, we'll. Hey, wow. Thank you so much for wearing glasses. I can't believe it. It's like, yes. Uh, yes. I mean, well, I had to, I had to give you the reliving the experience. You know what I'm saying? You know, the thing is, the moment I announced that you were so kind and um, doing this, my friend, they lost their shit. Shut they up. Were, they were like, what? Wait, 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 wait. And then we were, we were talking about the glasses and the fashion and of course. Well, you know, I, I don't usually do this kind of stuff. And I, not, hold on. I'm trying to make my stand be standing. I'm, yeah. Okay, this is me technically. Uh, if anyone knows me, I'm a hot freaking mess. Oh, shit. Of, I don't know. I don't understand technology. <sighs> but it works out perfectly. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I had to wear glasses for you, girl, because you know I just figured like they wouldn't believe it's me. Oh, of course we would. But and was... I threw one of these in so that I could give you a little something special. I don't know. I saw your story and I was like, oh right, yes. Yeah. Well, you know, cool. it only yeah. took me twelve hours, but I started it last night, and um, she's yeah. in now. <laughs> girl, you know I don't know how to do nothing. Oh, that's not true. That's I'm not true. useless. Oh no, you look snatched. Darling, we were, we were talking about the glasses, my friends and I, and, and I remember, first of all, it was such a big deal that you were wearing glasses because nobody did that. And you really, I mean, it, you started the trend of wear, wearing glasses. I like, didn't mean it to be a trend though, because I couldn't see. So to me, it was like, I need to see. And I did not like the feeling. I was too young anyway, but I never really liked the feeling of contacts. Yeah. So I was like, listen, I think glasses are awesome. I've been wearing them since six years old. So to me, it was like part of the cool part of who I was. Because when my mom told me I had to wear glasses, I was like, yes. <laughs> she was like, okay, child, you have problems. Because like a child usually it's like, no. And so I was excited. I wanted to get a bunch of colors. And I think that had to do with the fact that I watched... I looked at Elton John's and listened to his music in my mom's house all the time. And I think that made a big difference to how I perceived the funness of what glasses were. Yeah. And, um, and I'm getting construction done. So I'm just a hot mess here. Oh no. Sorry. Never mind. But I then remember, so we were all wearing glasses and we were all running to the shops and buying all the colors. And I had them obviously too. And then they came off at a certain point. And again, it was such a big deal. And I think, I mean, please correct me, it, but it was in that part of your career that was quite a huge moment and, and quite, a, quite a situation you were in, like privately and like- Yes. Know, yes, yeah. it was kind of, you know, I think that in a way it was all, if I look back at it, it probably was just, uh, me searching for me within a relationship, within uh, my my career. It was so very uh, busy, my life. And, um, and I really always wanted to get my eyes fixed mm. um, as far as be able to see. But I didn't realize that when I got my eyes fixed, I was like, ooh, I do not look like, I don't want to see. I thought my nose was really, really long because in glasses, it was this long. And yeah. so when I took glasses off, I was like, fucking hell, it's fucking huge. So I was like, oh no, maybe you shouldn't, like you should get some glasses back. Um, so I did, like I put my glasses back without a prescription and I would, people just didn't recognize me because I yeah. never took them off. Um, 
So it was kind of weird at first and cool because I could go anywhere I wanted to go and nobody freaking knew it was me. So I was like, yeah, it was so awesome. And then I cut my hair and, you know, just emotional, emotional stuff that we do um, when life is up and down. Um, and then little by little, I started just getting back and settling back into who I was just the older version. Um, and now I feel very at peace and very calm and very, in, I mean, not right now, but like inside. Yeah. And I mean, by, by it's, it's, such, it's such a little thing, but it like everybody relates to it. And it, it became like also kind of this stage look, obviously. Yes. And, it's, and it, it's so much more. I mean, I know what I'm talking about. It's so much more than just this thing. It is, it is this, that face that we put on and this, that version of us. And then opening up, it's just such a nice feeling, I would say. Yeah. I mean, it's like, I think that in general, I you have a look in, in our careers, you know, we have a look and people get used to your face and they get used to your look, especially as a singer, you know, if you airbrush yourself a lot and da 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 da, da and then they see you in person and then they're like, Roof, she's rough. Um, and so for me, it was the hair and the glasses. And then if they didn't see me, it was my voice they could recognize on the radio. So once I took off the glasses and I cut the hair, they were like, they just didn't even know what to do with themselves. Um, and then slowly but surely, I'm trying to just, uh, with new technologies, with trying to understand this whole FaceTime, we get to talk to each other without the record companies telling us when we should do stuff. And we do, if we want to sing together, we sing together. This whole thing is a lot more comfortable for me. Um, but when I first started in this business, I, I had no say, I would just do what they told me to do. Um, and I didn't know any better, mm. you know, not that I have any complaints because things went very, very good, but I was like a serious robot. And, you know, after a time it gets really exhausting. Yeah. And you also, I think you got this huge opportunity and you don't want to mess it up and you, you Oh my God, no. Yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, I didn't even, like, I have to tell you that I was the most unsignable artist ever. And no one wanted to give me a deal because they just did not understand my voice with the glasses and the rock chick and the sound, like, and uh, they just were like, what are you? What category is that? And I was like, it's a me category, yeah. you know, and they had nowhere to put me. Like in, and so when I got an opportunity to be on, it was some MTV show that I got the opportunity to be on. And because I was on screen, like, and had lights on me and I was singing, they took me as myself besides just walking in a recording studio and saying, you know, I want to be a singer. And they're like, okay, what, what, what is all that? Like, who are you? Mm. Um, and then when I was doing my song, singing Not That Kind of Girl and doing that, all of a sudden, all the record companies was like, she's amazing. And I was like, I am? She's great. I want her. I want her. I want her. And I was like, seriously? Mm. I don't even understand any of this right now. So it all happened so fast. And I was like, you know, this is going to end soon. Like, we'll record an album, but we won't really, like, they won't release a single. Okay, they released a single, but like, I don't know if it's going to go anywhere. Um, and so it just kept on happening. And I, by the second album, I was like, well, maybe, maybe I kind of have a career. You know, it was just one of those things that I didn't think I was going to be a singer when I was young. Mm. I didn't dream of it because my mom and dad were like in the entertainment business. And I always saw how difficult it was. So I didn't really like dream. Ooh, this is what I want to do. Yeah. But I mean, with your voice, there was just no other way because uh, we all we all know you from from all the gigantic hits, and and we love your voice. And and as I said, everywhere everybody went nuts. And I specifically re remember remember when we were singing together for the first time in that um, German TV show. Yes, and it just so everybody. You have to understand. We we know. Anastasia's voice, but once you're in the present, 
of you singing, it is, it is, the power is just insane. I mean, what you do with, with your body and how you control your voice. You know, as a singer, we, we all, I mean, I think you too, you kind of nerd out when you meet other singers and like, um, oh. I so nerded out when I met you. I was like, first of all, you're beautiful. Second of all, I would love to have a relationship with you, but I know I'm not your kind of girl. <laughs> oh, I was just in, I was fanning out when I knew you were going to be there. I was like, okay, that's, and we had freaking dressing rooms next to each other. I was living. I was yeah. like, okay, whoever did this, I want to hug them right now. Yeah, I was, I was losing it. Cause I, uh, from the moment I saw you, I loved what you stood for, who you were, your voice, everything about you was defying everything that shouldn't happen. And I loved it. It was, it was, it's just, I love somebody that stands in their own uh, comfort zone, even if it's not somebody else's comfort zone and they stay there and they're like, well, this is who I am. Mm. I don't need to put pants on. Mm. I'm wearing this beautiful dress and this wig, sweetheart. And mm. I'm going to sing my fucking ass off. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for the award. Thank you for this award. Thank you for that award, <laughs> you know. <laughs> no, but this, this is why I think we clicked instantly. And it, it I mean, the, the very first time, I don't know if I ever told you this story. So it, I think it was 2006. You launched uh, uh, a fashion line. And, With and S. Oliver. S. Oliver. And there was, in Vienna, was a huge shop opening and you were there. And I was there as well, like 2006, I, you know. And um, so they blocked the whole street. You would arrive in this gigantic bus. You know, you would go out. I mean, that was the whole PR thing. And yeah. then, you know, but I was standing on the other side. So I just saw the bus and everybody like losing it. Oh my but, God. Okay. No, no, wait. And then <laughs> you did your thing, went back into the bus. And you looked out the window and you would, you know, wave like to everybody who was standing on the other side. And you waved at me. I mean, obviously, you waved at everybody else. But, you know, me, I was then going home. We went out that night. I totally remember. And they were like, oh, yeah, Anastasia was in the scene. And I said, yeah, I saw her. Yeah. yeah. You know, like being very, very, like, totally cool. Yeah, she waved and at I, me. And she, yeah. And actually, she waved at me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's so cute. <laughs> So yeah, so you can imagine like meeting you then for the first time, it just, you know, it was so, it's, yeah, I mean, it's Anastasia. So yeah, incredible. And this is how, this is how okay, we- I'm gonna see if I could um, see what is happening out here. There's a lot of buzzing going on. Oh. <gasps> My window's open, no wonder. Sorry, people, we're just gonna like check yeah. it out. Hi. I'm going to show you a really good angle. There we go. There we go. <laughs> okay, that's so much better. I'm so sorry. Not very technically inclined. And I was like, Bzzz. they're doing a lot of work in my neighborhood. People are getting shit done, I guess. There's so many people uh, doing their gardening. Yeah. Um, because they have to stay at home. Yeah. So, uh, so I'm seeing piles of palm tree leaves in front of everyone's house because all they can do is be like, you know, like what else are you going to do here in Florida? Um, but yeah, chop old, your old trees down. Yeah. I, I saw, I saw um, your, your beautiful home in your Insta stories. I mean, oh, so nice. I am, you know, I moved here about a year and a half ago um, with my whole family to make a change. I just was over California and, uh, looking for more of like a, um, I don't know, I could say retirement, but in a way it's not necessarily retirement. Um, but we all live so close to each other, like a mile away that I wanted us to be tight towards the last, you know, few tens, 20, whatever it is, amount of years my brother and sister and I have. And my mom isn't going anywhere. She is like, sturdy Catholic Irish stack. You know, she's like, I don't have any problems. I got great lungs. I'm fine. You know, she's, yeah. she is good. So we, uh, we moved here and we found forever homes and I'm very, very happy um, uh, here. And, and yeah, I, it could be like, 
I could not have an outside backyard to go to. I mean, like, I'm grateful. Mm -hmm. I'm very grateful that, that I, um, I'm, I'm grateful every day. Yeah. Yeah. I totally can relate. Like just having a space where you can walk outside. It's really, oh yes. Not everybody's life. No. And, um, and I never knew until now how absolutely of an honor it is to have that. I mean, it is like, it is it's more expensive than gold with mm. what we're going through as a society. It's like, you know, you're scared to go outside because you're scared to die. It's mm. like, woo, you know. Yeah. No, it, it's, it's sorry, people. We're getting a little down here. Don't worry. <laughs> They'll be like, shut up. We came here to enjoy ourselves. Shut up. Re, 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 re. Yeah. Okay. I always turn it down, turn that frown upside down, turn it down. Okay. That was the Got best it. segue ever. Oh, well, you know. Okay. Hi. Hi, girl. What's happening? Hi, girl. What? Oh, hey. Yeah. Dude. What's her yeah. name? Her name is Sofia Rica. Oh, and wow. And why it's Sofia Rica is because I wanted to rescue um, an animal. So I went into a bunch of different rescue places and I. Um, I found this one place and it was called Good Karma Pet Rescue. I was like, okay, dude, this is where I'm going to get my forever home dog. And I looked online and I wanted a boy. I mean, this is just, I'm honest. I wanted a boy dog. I was going to call it Buddy. I already had that situation planted in my head. The poor dog wouldn't have had a choice. No, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking about before you, before you <laughs> came in. Um, and, uh, and so I, um, I chose this dog and the last name was Rico. And this other girl dog's last name was Rico. So I thought they were brother and sister. Mm -hmm. And so when I filled out the application, I mean, seriously, it's like buying a home, adopting a dog from this pet. Right? I was like, wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. They had to have a home investigation, see whatever. I was like, damn. I have bought many animals and they have handed them to me for yeah. a lot of money. It's like, here, we're going to give you the dog. Or you're not going to sit there and tie it to a tree, which I really appreciated. Um, so the boy was gone. Somebody had taken it. And so I'm like, okay, well, how about the girl? And they said, okay. okay. Now I knew nothing about, I didn't even know really how old she was. I knew she was a puppy. Um, and, uh, I didn't even know what breed she was. I didn't know how severely rescuey she would be. And um, what they told me was this foundation uh, saved dogs from Puerto Rico in this illegal puppy farm. And they were selling these illegal puppies as if they were purebreds. And then it does. So they, they clamped down on them and they rescued a bunch of, dogs from Puerto Rico, uh, you know, so hence, that's why their last name was Rico. Got it. And so, so this dog was a rescue from Puerto Rico. And uh, she came around the corner when I was meeting her in person. I was like, shut up. I was like, okay, you are adorable. Immediately, she was like, on her back like rub me i was like okay well she's very very gentle she's so sweet oh. and um very smart i think she's like shepherd mix mix like i don't know what else is in there but shepherd is definitely in there she's really smart house trained knows how to sit well i mean she's been with me two weeks so she knows how to sit and even when she wants to get up at 4.30 in the morning, I'll be like, I will walk you because you are not pee-peeing in mommy's house. Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, that's so great that she It's great. That. And oh. she's been, I, I have to tell you, Conchita, she's been like, in this dark time, she's been such a blessing to have something to do. Like, you know, like there's nothing, I can clean my house until like, I have no nails. Like mm -hmm. I literally am like, well, what can I do? I can like, uh, I'm going to have to start working out because if I don't, I am going to be so fat that <laughs> I'm going to need like two discs 
because uh, I'm my window is so fat, I won't be able to even fit on one disc. <laughs> my picture will be yourself? like, huh? Do you cook? I wish I eat. I eat so good. I would be. I would let you cook for me, and I'd be like, "This is so amazing." <laughs> But I, you know, I used, what I did back in the day, um, when I was a kid, I had a fantasy with baking, hmm. not wanting to cook, but wanting to bake cakes and pies. And I think that had to do with the fact that I was a sugar junkie. Hmm. So, you know, that was my version of saying, mom, I'm going to bake. And she's like, that is so amazing. Had no clue. And I was like, <laughs> but, um, so I got into baking. And then when I was in my twenties, uh, to early 30s, I did like to cook. And because um, cooking was like, I can cook my boyfriend a meal. La, 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 la. Um, and, and I learned a lot of different dishes. But then as like, I started to travel a lot. And I will say when I was married, my ex husband loved to cook. So I was like, I'm not allowed to cook anymore. Because he was like, it's my job. And I was like, all right. So I got really used to not cooking. And, and I was a terrible eater. I'm, I'm much better now. But I used to eat ravioli out the can. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, like terrible Doritos was a food group. Yeah. You know, I yeah. was awful, awful. So I'm much better eater now. But um, I'm like McDonald's. I would eat it in every country when I first started traveling. It was like, I was like, is there a McDonald's in this country? Because I can't eat any of the food here. It's look at it, your last name. It's worst on worst with some side of worst. You know, <laughs> I was like, whoa, because of course I, I didn't know anything about like any kind of food. I never traveled overseas until I was like 30. Yeah. And then like massive. But I totally get it. I, I, I love to cook as well. I, I think that I'm quite talented, but I just don't Ooh. like the mess. I don't like cooking. okay but that's understandable i when i do cook or prepare anything i clean as i go yeah do you do that yeah. or do you just make the mess and you're like Puck. so i mean so yeah i would have these moments where i'm like okay if i should i should have done this sooner like oh, okay <laughs> yeah a little yeah crusty yeah, yeah i yeah. got it but so what is some... your what's your like what are some of the dishes that you can make that like, if you're like, oh, I'm gonna make something nice or my friends are coming over or someone's coming over, like what is, what is the thing? What's, what happens? So I heard, I heard that I do a mean French onion soup. Ooh. Yeah. So I got, I got, I got some- You got reviews. that down. Yeah, I got okay. some reason that I'm good when it comes to preparing breakfast. <laughs> Oh, that, oh, well, okay, girl, um, you might have had some practice. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, I'm jealous. All right. <laughs> so yeah, these are, these are the things that I would go for. Okay, that's good. You know what? Breakfast is the most important meal. That's oh, what I heard. I love so. it. Well, you know, and these days, especially, I, I came into this weird sleeping rhythm. I go to bed quite early, and then I wake up the latest seven in the morning, the latest, like being up, up, up. And this is when I started to even more like prepare breakfast, you know, with right. the on the side and like this and, you know, make toast the bread and like do right. the whole thing. Did, did, you, did you already already like, do you also have like different patterns that you do now naturally or is... Well, now that I have Sophia, she wakes me up in the morning. I am not a morning person, people. Um, I am a night owl. I love a blackout shade. I... I love, I just think darkness is amazing. Um, <laughs> so for me, the morning, like seeing a sunrise is trippy, um, but beautiful. Like I'm enjoying it because once I have to walk her and then I have to feed her, I'm up, honey. I'm not going back to bed. Mm. Like, you know, um, and then she's like, after she's like, okay, you gonna play the ball with me? And I'm like, oh my God, girl. So I will say that this is great because usually I'm a night owl um, and I'm tired early, you know. So the thing that I find fascinating, I've never been a real breakfast person because I slept in a lot. So what I would have loved to do is like have 
I get fascinated by the people that like get up and they make an egg and they make a toast. Like I grew up with so many friends when I would cook, it would be like a mama pot you know, yeah. of like arroz con pollo and, you know, jambalaya and like chickens. Like, I don't know how to make like for ones yeah. very easily. I always make too much and then I have leftovers and I'm down with the leftover. Will you eat a leftover? Definitely. Okay, there I are some people that do not do a leftover and I don't understand those people. What I, what I really love is when I have like, you order pizza and then you know, you don't finish it all. And then the next day you put it back into the oven and that's oh, it's crispy. Best. Yes. <laughs> yes. We are like professionals. On, yes. On yes. Food. I'm a professional. Um, I'm a professional. Uh, what is that? What would just called it? Uh, um, leftover. I'm, I'm yeah. down. Like, yeah. give me a doggy bag from a restaurant. I'll be like, can you put all that in? Can you put that in? <laughs> and then that extra, yeah put it in there and I'll walk out with my freaking bag of food and be like, Hey, you know, just because I couldn't eat it now does not mean I'm not going to eat it later. Well, definitely. Yeah. I, I totally feel you. But yeah, with these days and times, I, I started to, to prepare my, you know, good for you. Yeah. You know, because no. good now, no, I'll show you, I could show you, I have a protein bar and an apple. This That's, is all my got morning. The That's yeah. what I do. That's what happens. I, I literally almost did not know how to use my stove the other day. Yeah. No, not stove, oven. I was oh, yeah, like- there is a difference. Yeah. Because it's electric and I had a gas one at my last house. And I mean, I'm sorry people, I use the microwave a lot. Yeah. Just let it be known. It's gonna, ha I, I, there'll, there'll be comments going like, you know, but it's just the way. Um, and uh, so I was like, how the heck does this turn on? I was trying to turn it on and I'm trying to figure it out. And I did it accidentally one day. And then I was trying to turn it on like months later. And I'm like, how the hell? I didn't really know what I was doing. It just automatically went on. But now I do know how to turn on my oven and I've made some pizza. The other, well, I didn't make some pizza. I took it out of the freezer. <laughs> you know. I put it in the oven. Got it. And I put a couple slices of extra cheese on it. Yeah. From my, you know, because, you know, it's slim pickings, people. I can't just get, like, mad fresh food right now because when I go to the, like, market, I'm, like, full on, like, you know, yeah. covering everything. Every Everything is covered, and I get my food, and I get out for the week or week and a half. So it gets desperate times, you know? I've got like rice crackers and hummus and, you know, the vegetables last as long as they last. And then I gotta, you know, like frozen fruit, you know, yeah. I, you gotta get creative. But are you, are you good at, at this uh, apocalyptic shopping list? Because when I did it the first time, I just bought like four different cheeses and I was like, I'm t I totally, did not understand. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm very good at it. And you know, I'm, I'm good at it because I guess I'm so used to staying in hotels. Yeah. And what I do is I have them take out everything in my mini bar. And when we get to wherever we're at, um, we find a little grocery store and I'll buy apples, I'll buy hummus, I'll buy, uh, you know, I just love the little things because yeah. when I sometimes get hungry, cause I was a night owl, the kitchen's not open. Yeah. And I'm like, Okay, I'm starving. Yeah, oh, and so that. I sort of had to just do the stuff that's easy to put in the mini bar and and have. And so pretty much fruit, rice cakes, protein bars. Those are the things that kind of just have been my go-to. It's not sexy eating. It's very boring. It's but very um, grown up, I would say, because I. Oh, I yes, thank you. I do it like a teenager, like you know. Oh, honey, I. That's. And how old are you, Miss Teenager? Well, well, you know, I'm 31. <laughs> well, shit, just grow, grow a couple of years, honey, and you start getting real boring with your food. Oh no! I'm like, oh, it's I a think lot it's of work. Very responsible, and in, especially in these times, I really feel the, you know, because as we talked about it before, I don't want to down it, but just the situation, you are so aware that that if you eat eat healthy and you exercise and you do stuff, you know, it just 
You know, it really is. It, and I'm watching people, uh, I'm watching people do this and I'm so, I'm getting inspired by them. However, I have to be honest. I have not done it, yeah. but my sister sent me this link. I'm going to try to do this link. I know I can do yoga because it's going to start getting really humid here. So I can do yeah. outside yoga and it's freaking great. Yeah. Um, but I've had these guys back here and I don't want to go in the backyard and do my yoga in front of them because yeah. it's a little creepy. Um, so, uh, you know, I'm just, uh, I want to get into, cause this is going to happen for a while people. And I'm not trying to buzz kill you, but it's going to happen for a while. So we do have to keep our minds going. We have to, even if it's a Zumba class and some kind of dance thing, people have been having DJ uh, Zoom parties mm. where a DJ is playing. And then you're like in the big party of Zoom, like, and you're dancing around, like, but you're all in separate houses. Mm. You've got to do what you got to do. I don't want people to start getting depressed because of the lack of socialization in person mm -hmm. and you know uh and i also don't want them to lose their physical bodies so i've got to start doing it and post and i don't want to post too much um because it's just kind of like weird i don't usually give this much of my life to oh, instagram same, same so this is a big deal for you and i because it's mm -hmm. like you know like um when I'm on the road a little bit more, but when I'm home, it's crickets, honey. It's like, is she alive? Is mm. she still here? Did mm. she leave the earth? And now it, I've been posting more, doing more, because I feel as though I want to, that's the only way I can help. Mm. That's the only, like you being able to do this and um, asking me to be on it. I'm like, oh good, it's gonna, hopefully we can get people just to, uh, check out for, yeah. you know, however long we're on, because we could be on for hours, girl. But, yeah. you know, like, just check out, watch something. It's not a freaking Netflix series. It's not sitting on your couch. It's like listening to somebody's conversation and you're just enjoying it, you know? And, and also, this is, this is, I mean, we, we texted, like, in the very first days of all of this happened. And also that was so special to me because, you know, I mean, we had worked together and we had a great time, but we were not really like being connected private in, in a private conversation. So that felt just so good. Mm -hmm. and, and it's such a different point of view. And I just... Well, I just... you know who people, you know, the people that really, when the shit is down, you know, we all at the end of the day can find out who's our people. Yeah who's our real kind of people rather than just, you know, and you're my real kind of people that, you know, we are in this society. Let's do it. Let's, um, you know, every month we'll have a theme. Let's have fun. Let's, you yeah. know, you know, maybe you can show me how to do my makeup. Um, you know, we can have a, like a tutorial of how to do my makeup. Cause I have no freaking clue. Let this, let this be known that, this whole situation took me so long and I I can do my lips. I'm a good lip person, but this took you look forever. Fantastic. Which took forever. Oh, please, yes. Let's do a makeup <laughs> class. That would be fun. Oh, I would love to do that. Now I probably don't understand where my crease is or where stuff is because half the time my eyes are closed when you bitches are doing my makeup so this is where it's difficult but I would like to try I know there's tons of I watch it all the time I watch yeah. people do their makeup and you guys just create like your eyebrows gone and then your eyebrows are up here I'm like what the fuck how do you yeah, do I'm this that also like freaks me out because I'm not doing that I'm not very talented so I, with me you get like the basics of, of doing makeup. Sweetheart, you have recreated your look, I think, so many times a year. You could change your hair, you change your color of your hair, you put a beard, you don't put a beard, you put a wig, you don't put a wig, you freaking uh, different outfits. I mean, you are creative. You can work with what you have, and it always looks fabulous and different, you know? But it's, you are so, so genius. Oh, the just can say the same about you darling let's let's set something up let's try to do a makeup plus i think that would be oh my god i'm so much. i'm just letting you know i'm warning you that i may not even have a product that like i probably have 10 year old product that we're going to use 
Perfect. So yeah, we're gonna have to figure that out. I'll, I'll, I would love to try that because it would be my first. Yes, let's do that. Let's oh do my that. God. Hey, darling, thank you so much for your time. I've loved this. Thank you so much for doing this. I loved it too. You're thank just... you. You make so... me feel like I'm not so lonely. Oh no, you're not. And actually, you you got your little girl too. I do. I do. Yeah. And she's been very okay. Wait a minute. <laughs> no, wait a minute. This is this is serious situations here, people. She is very into wanting to chew the palm tree leaves. Yeah. Um, yes. Look at there she goes. I'm innocent. Okay, these are palm tree leaves from outside, which she brings in because you think you're hilarious. <laughs> and then what do I have to do? I have to clean this up, girl. Yes. Oh, yeah. Aww. You're gorgeous. You're gorgeous. Okay, well. So yeah. All right. Oh, my God. All right, girl. Oh. All right. Oh, well, lots of love, my dearest. And uh, and I would love to do a makeup tutorial for sure. Yeah. Um, and uh, I did. I almost put this wig on because it's not the right color, but I had gotten a wig. I actually have to get uh, wigs by Vanity to design me a wig. It's pretty yeah. fierce. Yeah, um, I've been yeah. talking about it, and I'm I'm just gonna go for it. I, I mean, where would I wear it? For you, I would wear it on my Instagram. <laughs> yes, of course. Oh, love. <laughs> All right, Have my love. Well, thank day. you everybody for tuning in. Yes, thank, thank you. Thank you for sharing our time. I really appreciate it. I didn't get to see. I saw a bunch of things pop up. Um, ooh, people want us to do a makeup tutorial. Yeah. Boo boo. It's happening. A brunette wig. Oh, my God. Uh, I have never done that. I'm yeah. terrified of brunette. I think it's blondes nice. are the thing for me. Maybe redhead. Yeah, red would be nice. Too. You know? Oh, they want us to sing together. See, this is all stuff we can do. We're going to tease you guys because we're going to plan on doing a lot of different things in the future. Oh, my God. If you would do a master class. What is a master class? Like, like in singing. You would do a master class in singing and we can all like you know, get our voices warmed up with you. And oh, honey, I don't warm up. I never warm up. Oh, God. Oh, come back. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. No, I don't <laughs> warm up. I'm so sorry. I do not. And I know this is awful. Do not listen to me. Do not do what I do. But I go straight on stage just like this. I go straight singing. I'm like, yeah. I just start to just sing like a freaking train wreck. Me and Shaka said we're nuts. Like it's not it's not smart. No, oh, and by the way, have, you seen my, my have you seen my pinky? Oh, I know. I slammed it in the door. I just thought I'd I'd shout out all my fucked up shit. Okay, we got a gazillion ah! here. Okay, darling, we have many things to do. We yeah. I can't give you a ma you give me a master class because I have no Del Rey me. I don't know. Don't know Ray me. Oh, I love, I love you. you, babes, and thank you everyone for tuning in. Yes. Thank you so we'll much. See you soon. Yes, goodbye. Bye. <laughs>